So I did a show called Miracle, which is um, it's on Netflix at the moment, and the, the second half of it was faith healing. It was, it was a bold move because I knew my audiences wouldn't believe in it any more than I do, which is not at all, essentially, in terms of anything divine happening. And we are talking like that kind of evangelical faith healing, people being, you know, slain in the spirit and shaking around on stage and their aches and pains going and, and so on. I'd seen a lot of that at work and was fascinated to see if I could get it to work and what that would mean within the context of a show where people are you know, approaching it skeptically like me. Um, and it was amazing. It was, it was an extraordinary thing to do and to do every night. And it did work very well. Um, what I got from that and what, what, it, what it highlighted uh, was the psychological component of suffering. And essentially the way that it works, the way that sort of healing works, aside from a few very specific tricks that some of those so-called healers use. And incidentally, it's not remotely a criticism of religious belief. This is a, it's kind of a scam that hijacks sincere belief in its own name. So it's, this is a criticism of the scam, not the, certainly not religion or anyone's belief. But um, aside from a few specific tricks that are like magic tricks that get pulled off, what's essentially happening psychologically, and this is what I created in the show, was you get a, you get a lot of adrenaline going because adrenaline is essentially a painkiller. Um, and if you've got an ache in your back, but you're made to feel a bunch of adrenaline, you're not, you're not going to feel that pain any more than if a, you know, if you've stubbed your toe and it hurts and then a, a tiger walks into the room, you're not, you know, you're not going to be bothered by the toe, you're just getting out of the room. So you create a lot of adrenaline um, and then generally the way these things work is you invite people forward and then there's a filtering process. So by the time people are coming up on stage, they've been filtered to, you know, the, the people that are going to suit the show the best and, you know, have the best sort of testimony of what's just happened. And then you, the other aspect of it is that you're interrupting a story. You're interrupting the story that someone is living of their particular ailment. And this is where it gets really interesting because you start to see this grey area between... And for example, somebody came up in the first week and they'd been um, paralysed on one side of their body since they were a child. And she was in floods of tears because she could move her arm. And if you'd have x-rayed her before and afterwards, there's clearly nothing changes, but... Uh, I was sort of reminded that I, I sort of had a bursitis in my shoulder. I had like a bad shoulder. And for a long time, I'd been putting on a jacket with a dead arm. Um, and my shoulder had sort of got better, but I just really got in the habit of putting on a jacket like this. And probably if someone had said, your shoulder is healed, and made a big deal of it and give me a little burst of adrenaline anyway. And he said, now put on your jacket normally. I'd have, I'm sure I'd have done that and gone, oh my God, that's amazing. How did you just do that? Which the reality is I could have done it like that anyway. And I think at some level, that sort of way of you just get into a habit and you start to identify with a particular ailment seems to um, create a sort of a, 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 a large section of, of our experience of what's, of what's wrong with us. Um, and the, the, these sort of psychological processes, this sort of healing in inverted commas, is highlighting that, it's leaning into that. So it's very effective. And I have, I've had people years after that show saying that it worked I, th I thought it would maybe work for the five minutes they're on stage, but I've had people years afterwards saying, I watched the show on TV and my, my pain is gone, my golf injury is gone, uh, and I'm fine out. I'm dealing with very small percentages, obviously, so I'm not claiming anything beyond that. It's very small percentages. But the experience of, of what someone's narrative is around their condition, combined with a bit of um, showmanship, it, it was kind of extraordinary. And, and as a real skeptic myself going into it, it was fascinating. And then of course you start to see how the person doing it starts to go mad, how, the, how, you, start, how, how you could see yourself as a God figure if you're doing it within that, that context, because people are treating you as God because they're seeing you know, God coming through you, that's the illusion you're creating. Mm -hmm.